Hi, this is Meghnath. In this video, we're going to learn how to print output in this format. So for this, the input is number of rows to be printed. So if we enter five, we need to print five rows in this pattern as shown here, right? If the input is three, we need to print up to, up to three rows like this in this pattern, right? So let's get started and write the program for this pattern. Now, as usual, you can use any editor of your choice. You can use Turbo C editor, a Dev C++ editor, or any editor that you're comfortable with, which has compiler. So I'm going to use Visual Studio Community Edition, which is free from Microsoft. So let's get started. Now, I'm going to write first include stdio.h, and then I'm going to write include, include uh, conio.h. And here I'm going to write author, I'm going to write my name and email for your feedback. And then I'm going to write here purpose. So the purpose of this program is to print stars in given format, right? So now what we will do is void main, program execution starts at main method and first step is variable declaration. And then next we need to have read data from user. And then we need to write the actual logic, right? So first let's get started with variable declaration. So we need to read number of rows to be printed from user. So I'm going to write int n for that. And now I'm going to read the value from user. So printf enter number of rows to be printed. Okay, now we will read the number using scanf. I'm going to write percent d, comma ampersand n. Now what we need is, we need to write the logic for this. So if we analyze this once again, let's go back to this and see this. Now, you are reading the value n, so definitely we need to print one, two, three, four, five. So we have to use a for loop and we need to print these stars in five rows. So first what we will do is, let's assume that these stars are not there. So let's assume that these stars are not there. So we only think that only this is the required, this is the required output. So in this case, we will write a for loop and print these stars, right? So let's do only this and then we'll try to add this. Now, what we are going to do is, let's go back to Visual Studio and I'm going to write one more variable, comma i. Now, I'm going to write one for loop. For, for i is equal to one, i, i less than or equal to n, i plus plus. So we need to print only one star. So uh, for, for, for our adjusted requirements. So I'm going to print one star space and then what we need, we need to print here, uh, we need to print printf slash n because we need to go to the next line after printing the star, right? Now let's see how the, how the output will be. I'm going to put get ch. Now let's run this and let's see the output. I'm going to execute this. Now here I'm going to enter number of stores to be printed as five. You can see I'm getting five. So so as I value moves from one to five, first time I value is one. So it'll print one star and then it will go to the next line and here it'll come. I value becomes two and two less than or equal to five, it'll print three, I value three, I value four, I value five. So when it is printing the first row, I value is one. Here I value is two, I value is three, I value is four, I value is five. Now let's go back to the requirement. Now let's go back to our requirement now when here i value is so in this case we can take i value as one here i value is two i value three i value four i value five now what we will do is so when i value becomes one we need to print only one star when i value becomes two in this i want to print two stars when i value becomes three here we have to print three stars so for each so we are done with the rows but for each row we need to loop through from one one to i value, one to i value three, one, two, three, four, i value is four, we have to loop four times, i value is five, we have to loop five times, so we have to use this now. 
So let's go back to Visual Studio. So we need to write one more for loop for j is equal to 1, j less than or equal to how many times we have to loop? We have to loop i times and j plus plus. Now we need to write this logic. So now, so I'm going to copy there. Uh, so I'm just putting this inside this here. Now that's it. We are done with the logic. We are done with the program. So first, so we didn't declare j value. That's why we are getting an error. So let's declare comma j. Now see what happens. First i value becomes 1. So it will only print 1 star. 1 e j equal to 1, j less than or equal to 1. 1 star. It will go here slash n. Now it will go to second, second row. Now again i value becomes 2. j will loop from 1 to 2. 1 star and j value becomes 2, 2 stars. So like this it will print now it will print the required output. Now let's run this and let's see if we get the required output. Let's run this. Now I'm going to enter number of rows to be printed as 6 and now you can see here so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we are seeing the required output, right? So this is the logic that we need to write to print the stars in the required format. So printing stars pattern is really easy. So we need to understand, understand this and we can write the logic, right? So hope you are clear with this. So thanks for watching and keep practicing. And do remember to subscribe to my channel for future videos. Thank you and have a great day.